What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. The new guy. Find anything good? Cabby. Yeah, I. Open him out. I'm watching. He's gonna drive the boss. Got it. I get it. You don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Born as hell. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. He makes sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough, but we gotta go. Long drive back north. Buongiorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Come back and see me later if the boys don't Ralphie's scare you. Ralphie's in the away. garage. He's I'll a special kind of get. idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interested in her. 
But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick's a tin cab. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through? You want a bottle? Just ask. Keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food. Skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. today, not this junker. We're getting on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. 
They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay, you go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. He's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump from behind. I'm real good at distracting. Best thing. Ah, I'm plenty of guys in the city feel pissed. Excellent. Careful. I get the money, I'm done. Ah, he's good for it. Hey! What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give a rebel a black eye. And Dino makes him car things. Just like that. We got it. Yeah. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. I'm not gonna do it for you. Ah, oh, crap! Hey, get away from the car! Knock him down, Tom! And this guy, you got some kind of death wish? I'll make you tough. That hurts like blood. You got it. Come on, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flame. Don't torch themselves. Yeah, he got that nice and good. Yeah, Morello sure would have heard that. Whole block heard that. Use the bat to finish him off. Use the bat, Tom. <laughs> The look on these little pieces is gonna be priceless. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you. You got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Then gunfire in North Park. Ask Dino and we can take it. It's right here, Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! They're shooting! Drive! Drive! Officers have seen him, no oh, shit. We got cops. So what? Uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and get clear of us out. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. The guys got the Let's way not get them real pissed. Way. Keep looking, they'll turn up. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Salieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. 
But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. It's still on us! the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. Busy days? It's slow days. It's had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a fa- well, well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, well why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey boss, it's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. You abuse my trust. 
Don Salieri. You won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, I <laughs> got what did I know? You, Tommy? Come yeah. On, Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Ah, ignora quell'idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrei combattere ancora. Here he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Polly and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <sighs> right, that don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to Thanks, not Vincenzo. Me, I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you, it's Finny. Still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And an afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. 
and water. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Come on, Tita Tommy. Show me what you okay. It's c, -c car. You got it. Have a good day, for fellas. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. <sighs> it's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al. I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julie? Where's the money? Perone, fetch him! Poi ci succhiate il sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your mom, huh? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taken over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard, couldn't scrub it out. If we keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. 